what is going on the private lines and the lines that cannot stop roaring welcome back to a brand new video now if you guys go on to enjoy this video at any certain time please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you guys are new and click that post notification bell because it lets you know when your boy is making a brand new video now today we're gonna be talking about photography editing and you know how I got better and I'm gonna show little you know previews of like before and after photos that I edit and um, how to this video basically be how to make film photos out of like a, let's say a DSLR or a mirrorless camera you know any camera except for a film camera you could get that effect of film feel you know so everybody loves the little vintage look um, the old school kind of grainy feel everybody loves it everybody's doing film photography and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that without owning a film camera and you guys are gonna be blown now I'm gonna probably you know I'm gonna show you guys some before and after photos um, I shoot on a Sony which I'm recording here right now um, it's an a6400 this is a um, perfect camera for raw uh, raw footage you know videos and also photography uh, photos so it's definitely great for you know just all natural photos and um, it's also good at low light that's the beauty of this camera a lot of you guys know that film cameras you need certain um, I guess like film or you know stuff like that where like you have to you, you could be able to use like certain ISOs like you know because you can't overexpose you could overexpose but you can't underexpose a photo if that makes any sense when doing film so um, you have to hit that golden hour or early so and then you get perfect you know film uh, photos but if you do low light mm, not not too good not too good so uh, today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to do that through Adobe Lightroom and Lightroom is my favorite app I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can go check out Adobe Lightroom and there's a lot of presets I don't have some myself but I should you know probably get some you know maybe and um, probably in the near future I'll probably set my presets out there if you guys enjoy my photos and also follow my Instagram the link is in the description below as well at infamous Nick that's my Instagram go follow me and um, you guys will probably enjoy some of the photos you guys see so anyways today's video I want to talk about how to get film uh, that grainy feel with Adobe and shooting on a camera that's not a film camera so also this mood is definitely like an October mood so I want to you know switch it up and you know have like one main light and uh, just you know have a vibe a Halloween vibe you know what I'm saying so happy Halloween soon and um, happy October but um, let's jump into the video enough talking we are in a tornado tornado watch so this is all I got you know so all right so I went out shooting this is a little backstory of what happened my friend he got a film camera his name is Addison I'll leave his link in the description below so we we decided to go out shooting I was gonna shoot you know basic um, structure video me you know, structure photos of like you know buildings and and you know um, get some golden hour shots of him as well and um, this is his first time using the film camera that he has gotten and the film got destroyed instant like when he was gonna take out the film ripped and all the all that perfect photos that he took went to trash and that's another bad thing about film uh, film camera so um, I decided you know what I feel bad for my boy Addison so I'm going to you know try to edit these photos as best as I can in a film vibe now I'm gonna show you guys a few photos of the before which is right here you know perfect you know great lighting and you know stuff like that it was a cool little um, storytelling photo told him to take a step like act like he was walking and um, he did it and I thought it came out great I had a different edit to that photo but then but then I was like okay cool my boy lost his footage and all his stuff like you know his his um, damn photos on his film so I'm gonna make it grainy I'm gonna give it this grain feel so boom here it is right here and I was like damn this photo came out great it has that freaking crisp um, film look to it it's phenomenal has a little bit of grain you know and then and then your boy was like okay cool we got another shot I was like out of those out of the, all the photos we took that day I came out with three and I was like you know what I'm gonna make it fire so here it is right here here's the second one him just walking by himself you know I stood back I took a step back and I was like okay boom this is the before photo and um, I was like okay let me see what I could do with this now boom Boom! My mind came again. I was like, my boy lost all of his photos. Oh, let me make it a great film. Uh, uh, 
you know, grain, grainy and all this other good stuff. Uh, lower the shadows, highlights, and all this stuff. So boom, here it is. We got a perfect film look, and um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. But um, yeah, so basically what I did, okay, throughout this uh, this film thing was this. So I I had a, there's a preset on Lightroom, right, to get that grainy feel. There's a preset on Lightroom. And all I did was use that preset, but I added, okay, so all I did was use the matte preset, which you will find over here, and uh, it's down here, I used matte, boom, and then the matte already gives it some settings, like, you know, it has the exposure up, contrast, highlights, you know, you gotta drop the highlights to get that golden feel, shadows, the whites are high, and the blacks are, you know, I, I, I up the blacks because I wanted the blacks to stand out. I feel like it definitely gives that, that camera in his hand, like, you know, that look. And, like, he was wearing white, so the black kind of contrasts with it. Color, you know, we didn't really mess with the temp. Well, I messed with the temp. I gave it that little uh, saturation to where it's um, more warmer of an image instead of cooler. I left the tint and I left the vibrance. I dropped the saturation because... Film cameras, like you know, it, you give that old school look with like less saturation. So, you know, unsaturated effects. I raise the texture up. I love texture. I don't like to go over and beyond with it. Clarity uh, stay the same. Dehaze the photo. I try to darken it a little bit in the background so my 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 model, I guess, uh, Addison, um, stands out more. If that makes sense. And then Vignan, I didn't mess with. I didn't really want that, you know, blackness around the, uh, the outsides. And I left everything the same. Now grain, I was gonna raise it up just to give it that little feel. And that's what I did. So boom, that's the before and after photo. And I think it came out pretty fire. So that's one of them. And then we came to a second one. Now let's jump into the second one where I was like, yo, this has to work out pretty good. And now we're here. So we use the same preset. We definitely use the same preset. Now this, this one right here, was just perfect it felt great now uh, let's jump into that same preset we got this one right here we use matte and um, to give it more of a feel you know exposure is the same we we contrast it just a little bit and highlights we drop down and shadows we raised because I wanted that outside of that golden shadow look so I really wanted that to stand out whites we raised the whites just to like you know get it looking pretty popping and blacks we raised the blacks just so we could get that looking as well good so we jumped in now let's jump into color I raised the temp to more of a gold feel again warmer uh, left the tint and I left the vibrance and I dropped the saturation just because I wanted to be looking like a film uh, film shot texture we raised the texture I love texture I wanted the lines to look like it's leading clarity we left alone dehaze we dehaze the photo just to give it that darker feel up front and then Vignant, oh, whoops, uh, Vignant, uh, we, we did it a little bit just to get the back, you know, looking like, you know, a little, little shadowy. And that's about all we did with that. We did not sharpen it, we did not do anything else, and I believe I gave it some grain. Yep, I did give it some grain just to give it that look. And this is before and after, boom, perfect. Now, if you guys want to see more of this stuff, let me know in the comment section because I love doing these stuff and I love, you know, like doing cool little challenges here and there. Like, for example, today, you know, getting film photography out of like a mirrorless or a DSLR, you know, cool stuff like that. And it all depends on how you edit and taking your time. Also, the, this is an S curve. So if you guys know about that, that's what this is. And, um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and I hope you guys, you know, go into, you know, just being open-minded that you don't really need certain things to do certain things, if that makes sense, you know. If you guys want a cheap camera, you guys can get a cheap camera for great photos, uh, cheap lens, it doesn't matter. As long as you guys have a vision and an eye for this stuff, make sure to just go out and do what you love. And that's capturing moments and, you know, beautiful faces, smiles, and all that good stuff. So, again, a little rundown, you don't need a film camera to get some dope film photography. You could do it on Adobe Lightroom, and link is in the description below. If you guys want to check out Adobe, download it in the App Store. I use mobile, and I have it on my MacBook, so I definitely love it. It's one of my favorites, and I don't really use presets as much, but that matte one is definitely a w the way to go for me. 
And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, smack that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you guys are new. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this short video. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys want to see in the next one? And I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been your boy, Infamous Nick. And I love you. Peace out.